So it's Saturday the 22nd of April and I thought this weekend I would do a little weekend vlog. It's definitely going to be shorter than usual um, but I do have some very exciting things that I'm doing. Miley's come to say hello. Um, so the first thing is that me and James are going to, I think this is how you say it, Kirkleatham Hall Museum and Cafe today. I've been invited for some free food and drink, um, so I'm very excited about that. James is tagging along with me, um, so we're going to go for some food and then see his auntie because it's near Redcorn, she lives near there. Um, and then we're going to come back home and then get ready to go to a family party. Um, tomorrow we're going to go to like a milkshake place, like a little farm that has those um like milkshake vending machine things if you know what i mean um and then for the rest of the day tomorrow i'm probably going to focus on creating content because um i've received another two pr parcels which are very exciting and um, so you'll get a sneak peek of those again um but yeah i just thought i'd show you what i get up to i know it's going to be a shorter vlog but i think because i'm actually going out and doing something um twice <laughs> i thought it's definitely worth filming because most weekends i'm just chilling at home also i have fake tanned just tinted my eyebrows last night and straightened my hair so i'm feeling like a new woman this car honestly um but yes yeah, so i just thought i would share with you what i get up to um i'm going to be doing some like instagram posts because um <clears throat> the cafe has invited me to go in return for some like instagram pictures um so I'll be posting more on there as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to have a cup of tea, sort the pets out, have a little tidy round. I think also on the way there, um, I don't know if you saw, but I got a cookie bar in one of my previous vlogs um, from a little market store called Sip and Sugar, um, which is like a cookie business. And I love cookies. And they're in my town today. So I'm thinking on the way um, to go and get food, I might just get James to like drop me off and I'll just run and get a couple for me and him um, while he waits in the car. While we go out, well, I'm going to take Macy for a walk before we go out, but while we go out, my mum's going to come and walk her. You're going to see grandma today. She loves my mum, so she'll be excited about that. And she's got some treats as well, haven't you? Got some whimsies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so my office is a bit of a mess from doing my makeup but this is my makeup and honestly i always forget how much i love wearing this foundation it's the milani conceal and perfect foundation um it's really good for my skin tone especially when i've tanned um but yeah i just really like the coverage and it just it feels quite lightweight it doesn't feel too heavy um so yeah i'm really liking that so makeup done all right do you want to know what i got I've got a cookie dough pot. Yeah, I thought we'll leave this. I mean, we shouldn't eat any of it anyway because we're going out for food. But um, you could get sauce on it, but I thought I'd leave it because obviously we're not going to have it till later. And then I've got a Biscoff cookie bar. So the same as what we got. I know. I love Biscoff. Well, I didn't know what to get because there was that many options, like literally slow. And then, oh my god, I'm going to drop the cookie jar. Wait there. Wait there, stay there. Um, and then I've got a white, I know, a white bueno cookie. White bueno stuffed cookie. So I thought, well, you can either have the bueno one or we can share all of it.
I'm now home. I've just got dressed into some comfy clothes. Uh, we had a really nice day out. We had some food, obviously at Kirkleatham Hall um, Cafe, um, which was really nice. And then had a walk around the museum, which I've never actually been to. Um, but yeah, it's actually really nice and um, very interesting stuff to like look at. Um, they've got all different sections. They've got some like activities for children as well. Um, and it's free which is a bonus. Based in Redcar, so if you live anywhere near there, um, it's about a half an hour drive for us, but we definitely made a day of it, so that was nice. And then obviously we popped to see James's auntie and spent some time with her. Um, so now I'm back. Me and James have just had some of the sip and sugar cookies and cookie dough. It is amazing, especially the cookie dough. Absolutely love that. Um, we halved everything and then I've had half of my half and I've saved the rest for later on because there is going to be some food at the party so I didn't want to eat too much um and yeah it's quite sunny in the bathroom so I'm thinking if I can I might get some content of the things that I got sent the other day I was going to do it tomorrow so depending on how the lighting is um because if I get it done today then at least tomorrow I can like really just kind of sit down on my laptop and plan everything and edit videos and things um but yes I had a really nice day out um and i still don't know what i'm gonna wear tonight so that's annoying i think i'm gonna probably redo my makeup a little bit um but yeah just i really like having tan on and having foundation i feel like a new person so this is sneak peek one of some products from sientia which is a skincare company we've got the peach and glow tonic and the veggie tox smoothie serum these both sound amazing um i've already tried them on my skin and i'm really impressed i'm not going to show you the actual products because um i'm hoping that you will go over to my instagram or tiktok and see what they look like because honestly the packaging of the actual products is amazing like it feels so nice and i think they just look so cute they're in the same colors though um but yes yeah, so do go and check those out but and sneak peek too so i actually did some pictures and videos in the bathroom because these are kind of like bath and body related products and um, it is from patisserie which used to be miss patisserie um, and they've just rebranded and honestly their products look amazing so again i'm hoping you will go and check them out over on my instagram and um, these are just a little sneak peek of some of the products i've got i got four bath bombs two shower steamers um, and then I got three products from this range. So this one is the Lemon Balm and Daisy Body Nectar. I've seen pictures of this on their Instagram and I was obsessed. So I'm really, really pleased that I got it. Um, and then this is a sneak peek of one of the bath bombs. I just absolutely love the new branding and packaging. How pretty is that? Um, I actually totaled up how much these are worth and it was well over £100. So I'm feeling very very lucky right now but yeah i'm hoping you will go and check out everything else i got i'm so excited to use this i might try it tonight um but yeah that's sneak peek too so i'm just getting ready to go out and i feel like my makeup looks okay like i just need to do a little touch up outfit wise i've put on this bright blue bodysuit from primark i've worn this loads of times now i absolutely love it the only thing is it's in a size too small so <laughs> I won't be taking my jacket off um and i don't even think i can clip it like you know the bit under the clip of the bodysuit that was probably not a good clip so never mind um i think i'm probably just gonna be sat down anyway like it's a family party and um i don't know if they've got a dance floor but i have no intentions of dancing i'll maybe have a little you know from the seat <laughs> and go up to get food because there's a buffet i love a buffet other than that i'll be sitting in my seat just chilling so i feel like wearing this is fine um i definitely want to get some more colors of it but in the right size um so as i said i'm just gonna do a little touch up i'm gonna wear white heels and a white bag and um, again obviously heels would be a no-go but because i feel like i'm just gonna be sat down that's fine for me to wear i mentioned but when i did my makeup this morning i'm just putting a little bit more foundation on um i used a makeup brush for the first time or the first time i can remember because i did get sent it a while ago so there is a chance that i used it ages ago but it is this benacos kabuki brush um and i didn't know if it was actually like a foundation brush but i used it and i was like wow like it just honestly blended in my foundation so well and easily and it's really really soft as well so yeah i'm pleased with that um 
I just forgot how much I like wearing foundation, like I said this morning. But honestly, like even when I was out, like my makeup just still looked perfect. Like it's been a while since <laughs> just got it in my eyebrow. That's fine. Um, but yeah, it's really soft, so I would recommend. Um, it was a brand like I think it's a smallish brand, and they sent me some products a couple of years back. Um, and I did use the other ones and I really liked them, so I'm not sure if I did use this. But as I said, it honestly is just really good at blending foundation. And then I'm just putting a little bit of this kind of... And then I'm just putting a little bit of rose gold on my eyelids. I wearing this one earlier, which is a really pretty rose gold, um, but it's more of a creamy eyeshadow. And I just felt like it um, just kind of creased a little bit. So I'm just going over with a very similar shade, but an actual shadow. <laughs> Sunday um I very unwillingly agreed to go to the gym and swim with Jess this morning at half nine I am really tired we normally go like on an evening um but I do kind of like the idea of getting it out of the way um so yeah we're gonna go to the gym and swim in just got dressed I've noticed that my tan on my legs is a bit patchy so that's gonna be a bit questionable um but yeah at least we can get it out of the way <laughs> So it's now about half five and I am honestly so tired. I think I could just go to sleep now. Like I'm so, so tired. Um, obviously went to the gym this morning, then went out. Um, that farm was so nice. Obviously there was just like some cows um, and then like the little hut with the milkshake things in. But it was just a nice little trip out and the milkshake. I got Biscoff and it was so good. Um, so that was really nice and then when I got back I did a bit of cleaning and tidying in the house while James watched the football I think it was like 6-1 or something to Newcastle so he was very pleased um, <laughs> and then after that I went food shopping so you'll have seen I've stocked up the snack drawer which I'm very excited about and um, I just got some like meals and bits and now I'm just knackered um, so <laughs> 
I've just been posting some stuff on Instagram and I think the only other thing that I really want to do today is just edit some pictures and kind of schedule Instagram posts. I was going to do some blog posts but I just don't think I've got the energy um, and I think I'm just going to have a really chilled evening. Um, I washed my hair while I was at the gym and I was going to straighten it tonight so I've just like come upstairs and I thought I might sit down and straighten it but I don't want to get in the habit of straightening it all the time like I do prefer it straight but obviously trying to grow my hair like I don't want to just be damaging it all the time anyways so i think i'm just gonna leave it um and i'm like in comfy clothes to be fair so i'm just gonna chill i'm having a sunday dinner tonight at my mum's um so i think me and james are gonna go there but other than that i think we're just gonna have like a chilled movie sofa kind of night um like snuggled on the sofa with macy which will be nice and i've just finished the rest of my sip and sugar cookies and cookie dough oh my god honestly so good i can't wait to get some more so i'm hoping that they will come like to my town soon or i'll find them somewhere um i think you can order them online actually so i will leave them linked in the description um but yeah i mean anything else i get up to i will film for the rest of the today but there's probably not going to be a lot i think i'm gonna say goodbye here like i'm gonna end the vlog here and um, because otherwise i'll probably forget um and yeah it's probably been quite a short vlog um just for the weekend um i have had obviously an exciting weekend um but i've been kind of like focusing on getting pictures and videos for Instagram. But yeah, if you do want to see more of Kirkleatham Hall and more of the Stamfrey Farm, um, then do go and have a look on my Instagram, on my TikTok, because the videos will be on both of those.